Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne, and today we are going to be unboxing my Beautylish package. As you guys well know, unless you're living under a rock, and if you are, well, welcome back to the world. Um, Jeffree Star launched uh, a new collection on Friday. Uh, Monday we had a civic holiday, so nothing was open like mail and stuff like that. So I should have got this yesterday, but I didn't. So if you were watching this and you've watched everyone else's, so, uh, you know, other people's, um, their looks and whatnot, thank you so much for watching this. And if you guys are just watching mine, again, thank you so much. If you guys can, make sure you're already subscribed because I do have, um, I have at least one giveaway still going for the Anastasia. And I did get the lash brag uh, mascara so that'll be going with it and then I will be doing another Jeffree Star giveaway and yeah so um I wanted to do this like completely like this because I wanted you guys to see my face I did do the basics I did put some foundation on and whatnot um I did not expect this to be so early um I got the notice around 11 or so that it had it was going to be delivered today, so I figured it was going to be delivered right before I go to work. So I was like, do I get ready? Do I not? So um, I am off Thursday, so I'm going to give the Good Apple um, Foundation a test run on that day. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I also got my Jeffree Star Pre no, Supreme mystery box it is in um i haven't made it down to the post office yet so so i didn't get the whole collection today i did order some more pieces So right on top is the mirror. And I'm like, where's the rest of it? Please tell me the rest of it is in here. I did order one mirror. Okay. I got a message, Beautylish. The last few times I did not get any samples and usually we do, like even if you don't order, if you order anything else, you do. Just see what's in there, okay. So, um, I did get one velvet trap. I did get one of the, um, lip balms. My heart is racing right now. I'm so excited, guys. So I got pink roses and always faithful. So we'll open those up. Um, I got the highlighter palette, which I'm super excited about. Whoa. Oh, okay, so there it is there. It's super gorgeous. This is uh, vegan leather. Um, so even if that gets all used, I'll at least have the case forever. So here is the Unicard. Um, this is Extreme Frost Trio. Um, tune your face with just one swipe. Rich and decadent, drenched in glitz, so blinding it hurts. Beauty tip, finger application suggested. Tap on for blinding filter finish. Okay, good to know. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna open up the mirror and then we're gonna open up the palette because the palette is really the supreme. So I was going to get the pink leaf mirror, but then I was like, you know what? I I don't know what I didn't know which one I should get so I ended up asking my fiance and this is the one he picked so that's so I'm super excited about it because like I'm like I really don't care either way but I wanted the stained glass too so I got the stained glass now, I will say I am a little disappointed that only a few things were available through Jeffree Star's website. Um, I really wish he had told us what was going to be available from him and what was going to be available from Beautylish, just so that we had a heads up. Like, even if you just said, okay, the because the pink uh, cross mirror was exclusive. Um, 
and I didn't realize that and I went it's already on beauty I already had my items picked out so I just like whatever but with that being said um, I'm really glad I got this one it is beautiful so I'm just gonna put it there for now okay so Okay, so here it is. I have not watched anybody else's except for, I think, Sarah Loves Makeup. That's the only one I've watched so far just because I wanted to do a look for myself and not get too, too into somebody else's look. So I do like the fact that there's literally, that, that's it. So it keeps you from opening it. Um, that is just amazing. So there it is there. I love that. I really, really do. I haven't even opened it. Okay, guys, are you ready? Holy. These are just so my colors. Like, I need to put Diva on. Now, a lot of people are complaining because there's a lot of mats. For me, it is what it is. Um... I mean, I'm not the one that's putting my money into this and, um, oops, and deciding what should, you know, what should go in and what shouldn't go in. I will say that I do like that. I do wish there was a couple more, um, shimmer shades, but you know, that's, a, that's what it is. I mean, I can always mix, uh, from my other palettes to this one, or I can always take something else and, you know, use the pinks from this and then whatever else. I will say this lipstick it's not shiny like the other ones. Like, so I just got this lip balm in. So this one's shiny. This one is like, it's a, oh, it feels so nice. Yeah, no, those ones aren't even like that. So, so here's the color I did choose. So you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see the detail. I did want to get the white one, but I just, because I wanted to do like an ombre look with it, but I maybe in time I will do that. So the lipsticks are twenty six dollars. Um, the palette I think is seventy two Canadian. Um, the sacred glass was eighty six. So and the mirror was thirty nine. I think. So there it is there. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to try that on. Okay. So let's dip into this. I'm excited. I actually even was doing photos yesterday. So I pulled out some, some of his brushes, but I don't have them all out, obviously. Cause some are white and some are pink. Okay, so. It's okay. We can use any brush we want. This is makeup. Uh, oh. so. I do like the big mirror on this. I, um, I love how it looks like it's a book. Um, although it's kind of crazy that it's this thick. I do, you know. Okay, so we are going to go in with, I think, Sugar Savior first. So Sugar Savior is right there. That is absolutely pigmented. Wow. Okay, so I am going to go in with Diva here. 
I'm going to do a very simple look today and I want to play around with this more so you will see more looks today. Now I did use my Girl Lauren again foundation with the Jeffree Star uh, foundation or with the Jeffree Star uh, concealer. These are very, very bright. I don't know if you guys can see how much I actually have on my brush. There's not a whole lot on there. So I am going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics here. I'm going to go in. And I do use, I think this is a lip liner, yeah. I use a lip liner for this part. Can kind of see where I need to reach up to. Okay, so I went and I reapplied some of the uh, Diva to the edges. <sighs> okay, so let's go in with Candy Cathedral. Okay, I'm going to go in with Princess Crown here. I 
These are super, super silky shades. Holy. So now I'm going to go actually in with this frosting cult with the same brush here. I'm just going to, oops, don't have to press hard. So I'm just going to Okay, so I'm gonna go and, oh wait, before we do that, ah, I'm actually gonna go in with Beauty Killer. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush here. Okay, and I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go put on some mascara and we'll finish up this look with a highlighter. And we'll okay, guys, let's get into this highlighter. Now it says to use your fingers. So I got to get into this pink purity. I said I was too old for glitters. I'm lying. I think this is fun. Would I wear this necessarily to something, you know, like, I don't know. I'd probably wear this on like a night, girl's night out or something. Like, why not? It's fun. Life is too short not to have glitter. That is glittery. So. That is gorgeous. Okay, so let's go in. Just want to wash my fingers because I don't want to mix the two of them. Okay. So this is the glass slipper. is I think it says it's yeah pearly gates so I'm actually gonna That is gorgeous. So this is $86. I can't believe I spent that much on a highlighter, guys. And I mean, it's a glittery one, but man, is it just beautiful. It's just like an artwork all on its own. Um, these are the ext extreme frosts that, uh, you know, that are like the ones up there. And just one is like $50 or $60. So yeah, I am glittered right up. Why not? Right? Why not? Okay, so we'll do, <laughs> it's all over my hands. <laughs> okay, let's do this lipstick. Um, I'm excited for this part. God, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna say this, this color is goes on so velvety. Like, I don't want to take it off. I don't even feel like there's really anything on right now. Uh, it's very vibrant pink, not like what I thought it would be. Um, am I disappointed? No. Um, it's, it's a killer all on its own. I'm not sure about it quite yet, but I'm sure as I go um, longer, it'll be fine. Um, So I'm going to add this on top 
for now and then I'm going to I'll like take this off and show you the color without it um, I'm just gonna look for another lip <laughs> This one's actually concealer, but we're gonna use it for our lips because I, I just washed it. Okay, so you can kind of see some of the sparkle in it, not really. This is a very hydrating lip balm. I'm actually kind of impressed with it. So um, I'm just gonna take it off quickly and I'm going to show you the look with just it. Um, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is, so I think the other color kind of just stained my lips a little bit, but that's okay. I really, really like this color. Um, if this wasn't $25, I'd be wearing this every day. I still might wear it every day. It is gorgeous. Um, just a, the right amount of sparkles. Um, I don't feel the grittiness of it. Like, um, like I heard that other people were feeling from it, but... Uh, it's like leaving my lips so 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 nice i absolutely love this i'm really excited actually i have like two more lipsticks two more of the lip balms if not all three of the lip balms um what else was what else did i order oh i ordered another mirror i ordered the uh silver cross one um and i ordered the facial mist as well so that should be in i believe it's shipping out august 5th so i think that's tomorrow but i'm not sure so maybe by the end of the week i should have it oh, let's fingers crossed and i will do a review of that um i am off thursday so i'm going to do the full face of the good apple um uh, foundation and I'm gonna wear it all day and give that a good wear test and you will likely see the video for that like um, Friday I'm hoping um, I will throw up the look of dog hair I swear it gets everywhere so I'll throw up the look on Thursday um, the look I do and then Friday I'll update you and how everything was I'm still waiting to hear back from the second uh, winner that I chose so uh, as far as I know if I don't hear anything back I'll give it another like at the end of next week and if I don't hear anything then I will again be drawing that name and hopefully I get to send this out I get all excited about this and then yeah it doesn't happen so anyway guys I am so excited to show this video to you um I am gonna say I don't know what's wrong right now but my nose okay so I have a German Shepherd, so I have dog hair everywhere. I have to sweep like twice a day. Okay, so um, let's do a little mini review um, of his items. Okay, so this mirror is definitely the cutest thing I have seen in a long time. I asked my fiance which one I should get, and he's like the stained glass. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I love the shape of it, actually. I find that it's actually a bigger mirror than the other ones. So yeah, I can actually see my whole face up close, which is super nice. I do like that. Um, so that I'm thrilled to pick up. It was a little bit more than the other mirrors, but it's nice. Um, I think on my last video, I actually cut out that I was like, I'm not gonna collect mirrors from Jeffree Star. And yeah, I have way too many. Okay, for $86, is it worth it? If you are a collector, absolutely. If you are not, I would probably stick with the Afra. Please don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled to have this in my collection. Will I use it? Definitely. I am not going to be afraid to wear a little sparkle here or there. Um, I think the world needs more sparkles. Biodegradable ones, though. <laughs> um, ones that don't harm the earth. Um, this I definitely like using as a topper. Even if I don't put it on my face, you can put it on as a topper and it looks gorgeous like I did. Um, yeah, so, but $86 is a lot of money. And if you don't have it, like don't feel like you have to go out and run out and get this right away. Um, this will be part of his permanent launch. And of course, Black Friday's coming up and he has had some sales. So 
um, do the BOGO offer and then it'll make it feel a little bit better for price. Um, it is a little steep. If I didn't like pink and um, the highlighting uh, highlighters, I probably wouldn't have picked this up myself. But uh, yeah, I'm thrilled I did. I really am. As for the pink religion, I've heard so many people say this is just a, 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 in between blood sugar and um, blood sugar and uh, what is the other one? Was it bloodlust? Maybe. I think. And you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not 100% sure. I know that I absolutely love the idea and of course I jumped on it. Am I glad to have this in my collection? Absolutely. Do I need it? Absolutely not. I have enough palettes. I have enough pink in them to do me. But I do like this one. I do like the case on it. Um, it's something I won't be afraid to travel with. Uh, too far anyway. Um, but I do like the singles idea that he's come out with because then I can get the singles of the, my favorite shades and throw them in there. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm actually not going to swatch it today. I'm actually going to wait to do it when I have a little bit more time to do a video. So maybe uh, at the end of this week, maybe on Thursday when I do the Good Apple um, one. Uh, so anyway, guys, um, I also want to say for the lip balm for 25 bucks, this is one of my favorite lip balms. I will say that it's got sparkles, it's pink and it's lip balm. My lips don't feel dried out. They feel good. And I would actually use this as a topper over some of the VVLs or VLLs, the Velour Lip Liquid Lips. Um, and this here, I will say I'm really, really impressed with this. This is so conditioning. It like even when I wiped it off my lips, you could kind of feel like some of the 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 conditioning factors in this um, are were still kind of on my lips. I love the color. The color payoff is absolutely amazing. It's rich. It's it's right there. Um, I will say the packaging though will get the, the biggest rating from me. I love the feel of it. It's like soft plastic. I I can't even begin to tell you. Um, I am not a gun enthusiast, but I think this is super cute. I really do. Uh, I don't know why. Um, so I'm just looking. This one has like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a little cross right there. And this one doesn't. It's made in the USA. Huh. That's awesome. I didn't realize that. I, I thought they were, but I'm not. I wasn't 100% sure. Yep, made in the USA. So, yeah. Guys, um, thank you so much again for watching. Like I said, uh, I should be doing another giveaway later this week, if not tomorrow, with some of the things that I've gotten in my mystery boxes that I have doubles of, including like the bag and cremated and the mini orgy. So um, I should have my Supreme tomorrow. So you guys can stay tuned for that. And I will show you everything that's in there and make a look with one of the uh, the items I get in there, we'll see what I get. I think I'm literally like one of the last people to still get my premium or my supreme, um, but I'm still happy to get it at the very least. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. Please make sure you like this video, give it a share, and make sure you're subscribed.